He's gone quiet. What now? Oh fuck! Oh. Okay, I've got a shot in. G'day chaps, and you guessed it. You know I'd cover it. You knew I'd cover it. Uh, so we are going to... I'm going to do The Hunted Part 2. I have not played this yet. I wanted to wait until I could record and do it with you. Sorry I've been kind of quiet recently. I'll explain why in a minute. Let's go Hunted Part 2. And accept. Now you're the hunter with the bear killer rifle in hand. Track the old bear. Hey. Well, he's outside. Oh, he's angry. Guys, he's make. He's make. Hey, 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 steady on. <laughs> Making a right bloody racket. Alright, so let's search the hut quickly. And then I'm going to grab our rifle. And we'll get a couple of shots in. Uh, yeah, so the reason I've been kind of quiet was just life got in the way. I had to. It's pretty mundane stuff, really. Uh, with the house, we have a new house, and I had lawn delivered. Nice. Did you hear that? He said, live by the sword. So I had to uh, I spent an entire weekend just sorting out lawn. Very exciting. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I'm actually starting a company with a friend. Uh, so the other weekend I had to do some work for that as well so just life just general life anyway I'm back and I am obviously doing this I want to play interloper as well desperately want to play some interloper with you I've given it a try by myself I think it's great it's absolutely great it nails the difficulty level it's given people like me exactly what I was looking for so that was about 25. <sighs> he's, he's not going away, he's right outside. So well, I guess we're going to have to just jump out and pop a shot into him. Right, I'll go. Oh, bugger. Okay, so we know how to do it. Um, yeah, uh, so we're doing this today. I want to do some interloper with you. I'm also going to record some more Star Citizen discussion with Mark tomorrow. Oh, for God's sake, after all that. Okay. He's right there. Ah. Can you see him? I thought I could see movement. No, we're going to have to go out. Let's see. Uh, what happens? I... Oh, Jesus. Holy crap. Fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, I saw I have some clothes. <laughs> If in doubt, sort some clothes out. <laughs> Jesus, that was a bit scary, wasn't it? Um, let's just give him a minute. And I'll go back out. See. Oh, I shouldn't do this now. But, uh, alright, come on. He's gone quiet. What now? Oh fuck! Oh. Okay, I got a shot in. Definitely got a shot in. 
Whew. All right. I'll repair this again. I'll give him a minute. What an exciting start. I love it. Okay. Let's see now. We're just going to get mauled. Oof. Fuck. Can I get another shot? No, it's too fast. Oh, I hit him. So there's two bullets in him. Okay. And he's run. I have no idea where he's running to. Oh, we're going to have to follow his footprints, of course. Alright, it's so minus 17. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. And I think we can't be too slow uh, when we're following his foot the footprints because they do disappear uh, eventually. Same with the blood trail. So let's check our. Let's just check our stats. I haven't really had a look. So we've got two flares, sewing kit, bit of wood and whatnot, bandage, basic, basic clothes, bit of food. Hmm. Okay. Not too bad. I'm going to ignore the um, carcass there. Where's the straw? Yeah, okay. So yeah, we're going to do some Star Citizen discussion tomorrow. Um, what were the topics? One of the topics was about VR. We're going to just talk about what we think VR could mean for Star Citizen. That could be quite a good one. And for all of you who watched the last video, I won't be interrupting it this time. <laughs> that was the uh, major piece of feedback on that video. Oh, it was amazing how many people watched it. I mean, it was just it was just an experiment. Him and I trying it out to see if people would like it, if anyone would watch it at all. Got 12,000 views, which is just insane. Just nuts. So, yeah, I definitely won't be interrupting him. Um, yeah, so we have VR. I want to talk about bases. What we would hope a base in Star Citizen, Star Citizen might look like. And there was another topic as well. I've kind of forgotten. But I've made some notes I will remember. And yeah. Uh, so I've been playing Interloper by myself. I just wanted to kind of give it a try. See what it was like. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. The fact that you have to... Well, you, you hardly get anything at all. Hardly anything at all. You don't get any weapons. You have to craft everything you want to use, basically. So if you want to have a, a weapon, you need to craft uh, a bow. If you want to skin animals, you're going to have to craft a knife. And you're going to have to craft a, a kind of a hatchet. Is that him up ahead? Yes, it is. Okay. So he's still very stationary. So my guess is that we have to kind of approach him and get a shot in. We're going to start getting too cold soon. And we don't want to get too close because he'll charge us. And we'll have no kind of defense at all. There's a wolf running from the bear. So I think we'll be okay if we if we get a shot into him. I'm guessing he won't charge. I'm hoping he won't charge. Because there's no kind of defense or escape around here. The last thing we need is to get mauled, of course. But we don't want to get too close either. Before we can shoot. Oh, crap. Oh, he saw us and ran. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Time to start running. Let's just see what we find. Pry bar, we're really not going to need it. I don't think we're going to go very far. From what I have seen, this whole episode should be inside Mystery Lake. And I 
don't think it's very long. So, let's just get to the uh, cabin. Again, I mean, Hinterland just haven't disappointed at all. I'm absolutely, I'm just so impressed with what they've done. Really, really happy. They never fail to um, release a decent update. I mean, it's one of the best development cycles I've ever seen. The fact that they're doing this in collaboration with people, you know, an open development. And the fact that they are, um, they're just nailing it every single time. They're releasing something uh, substantial every time. It's coming regularly enough to keep people interested. And the game just gets better and better and better and better. Um, they communicate pretty well. I mean, they've had delays, but they were open and just admitted that um, they're not going to give specific dates anymore about the releases so they're kind of learning as they go along as well um, I thought I could hear something mm. and um and the game is 20 bucks, and they keep on releasing stuff. I mean, it's just insane. I feel like I almost want to... If they... I want to give them some more money, almost. I mean, I've played... I'm up to 400 hours. Ooh, bugger. I'm up to... F 400 hours? Crap. That's two. All right. So we've got four bullets in him. It's pretty decent. But uh, we're too cold. We have to get inside. So we've got four shots in. Okay, let's go warm up. Let's get some food in. All that good stuff. See what we find. How many bullets do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six shots. We fired four. We haven't missed any yet, which is good. I'm playing this on Ultra, by the way. Use this. Just in case you're you're wondering what Ultra looks like. Ooh, ooh, I've never seen that before. Never seen them take the lantern like that. That was very cool. I'm not going to take the hooks. I'm not going to bother fishing. Uh, I suppose. Take the whetstone. Uh, I might need to cook up some water. I really don't want to spend any time, you know, fapping around, to be honest. Just kind of want to nail this challenge and move on and start the uh, the interloper series with you. Ooh, more cattle. Oh, I nearly missed that. I was so close to missing those. I wouldn't have seen those at all. Okay. Let's put the rest in. Okay. Bedroll, is there any better condition though? I should really repair some clothes. Makes you should always, always, always repair clothes. Okay, so I think food is okay. We've got enough cans of coke and whatnot. Okay. How are we? We are... Uh, we're going to have to start a fire. Okay. Let's start a fire and repair some clothes. Uh, it's going to make gameplay a little slow, but that's okay. Gives us a chance to chat, doesn't it? So yeah, I hope you don't mind that I was away for a little while. Um, I'm sure lots of you guys are subscribed to so many other channels too that you've survived. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was basically waiting for this update, really. I mean, what else have I been playing? Um, I had another crack at uh, Total War Warhammer. Because I really struggled to get into it in the beginning. I made a video that not many people watched just about um, how I thought they'd nailed it. Um, 
But then the more I got into the game, well, I actually played it by myself, the more I thought, I don't know, there was just something missing from it. And it's it's really hard for me to really say exactly what it was. We just cook this up. Um, I mean, the one thing was it was just really difficult. I thought I was a, a Total War pro. So I put it on, um, what was it, legendary? and then, No, very hard. Put it on very hard and I just got absolutely annihilated. I had no chance. Um, so I had to restart just because I was just not doing very well. I was getting hammered. Um, and then I played, what was it? I was playing... I played as the Empire, so the humans, and I played it on normal difficulty, and then you have, um, just let me have a look at what we need to do, some water. Um, okay, I think we're done here. We're warm enough, let's get back out, see what's going on. I was playing as the Empire, and you're right in the middle of the, um, the campaign map. And I was doing quite well, I was expanding my, my empire, everything was kind of going okay. Ah, uh, there are no more bear tracks. Okay. Ooh, blood. Uh, just a single spot of blood. And, oh, here we go. Alright. So we have a trail to follow. I didn't repair clothes, obviously, but for the sake of the video. Let's keep moving. Um, yeah, so you start in the middle of the map, and I was doing quite well, and then you have these uh, chaos uh, like faction up in the north, and um, they just kind of spawn from nowhere, and without any kind of warning, they just come down from the north and annihilate you. So that was my second game, so I gave up on that. And then I thought, is it just me? Is it really, really hard? Is is you know, have I done something wrong? So I went back and I played on easy. And that was just way too easy. Oh crap. One, two, three walls. Um, do we go flare? Or do we just take them down? I can't be bothered dealing with them again later. So let's, let's shoot them. That's one. Let's see. Okay, so we've still got this blood trail. It's very, very cold, so I'm kind of thinking about about the temperature a lot right now. And we really can't get too close to these wolves, so I'm gonna have to slow down a bit. This um this hill is not gonna help. So wolf could get pretty close before we see it. Yeah, so back to Total War. I um I started another game on medium. And uh, yeah, it was okay. I started as the orcs. Uh, you know, took over. You know, expanded quite nicely. Had a few battles, and then and then I just kind of realised that I've just kind of lost interest in Total War in general. Um. Because I, I guess they haven't innovated enough. It's I mean it's a solid, solid game. If you like Total War, it's more of the same, but that's also I think it's downfall. Because it is just more of the same. You know, it, it it's it's sure it's different. I mean it's a different context setting, everything like that, but apart from that, it's the same format again, you know, and it's become this sort of Cash Cow is very much about money for Sega now. Sega are the publishers. What the hell? It's gone up this way. Okay, he's taking a funny old route. Um, I'm getting really concerned about temperature now. We're going to have to look for some shelter. Ooh. I thought I could hear something. Uh, we're coming up to the uh, 20 minute mark. I'm going to have to... I'm going to stop it 
any second now. Let's just see what's over this crest. And right, All right. I'm going to pause it here and uh, oh crap! I'll see you in the next one, boys. Ciao for now.